So what is the second question? What are some of the ways to protect oneself from becoming infected? Well, I just outlined those ways. Number one, you know, mosquito nets. Okay, number two, mosquito repellent. So really, these are strategies, again, designed to focus on the insect. But if we can eradicate the insect, or if we can manage the insect, then we can manage the disease. Now, you know, there's still a lot still. There's been ongoing efforts to develop a vaccine against, against malaria. So, and, and again, what where would you develop the vaccine? Because basically what you need to do is you need to develop uh, a way in which the immune system can eradicate or identify and eradicate uh, the malaria uh, disease causing pathogen, the plasmodium. So what about the plasmodium could then enable the immune system to eradicate uh, malaria. So we need to find a definable antigen. Okay, what part of the plasmodium pathogen can produce a reliable, identifiable uh, antigen to enable the immune system to eradicate malaria. Now we know, for instance, if you have a misshapen erythrocyte, you will be protected from malaria, but that's a pretty extreme method. You know, we obviously, science has not found the answer yet, but we're really working hard on it. So that concludes our second disease lecture on malaria. Thank you so much for visiting educator.com.